Okay, a quick rundown of this. So, you got your cameras. There's 26 of them, so I named them A through Z. And if you want to load your 360 video, you're just going to click right here, duplicate this material, and go find your video. Um, I basically found this free drone video where they hung a 360 camera under their drone and flew through some, like, old ruins. And I ran it through Premiere. Sped it up 1,500 times, didn't do any motion blur or frame interpolation, so it's just uh, basically 60 frames. So I sped it up to about two seconds long. Uh, and then once you import your video, you want to type in how many frames it is. I know mine is 60 frames, so I just got to type that in there. Make sure it's set to cycle, cyclic, and auto refresh. And then you want to set your timeline duration to the same number of frames. And you can kind of scrub through, see it moves. Um, and then the other thing I do is, because the drone is visible in the shot, I just want to make sure that I'm not using any of those cameras. So what you can do, so what I do to make it easy, is I just kind of select the cameras I don't want to use. And I hide them plus the center cam. Uh, and then I go through this list down here where we have our multi-view. So I just go through and uncheck all the ones that are hidden now. So I uncheck A, D, G, I, L, O, R, U, and X, and that should do that. So then you have uh, all those, and it's only gonna render out these cameras now. Um, and then the other thing you wanna make sure of is your output path. So, let's just go ahead and create a V4, accept, and then, right, so, uh, because we're essentially using Blender as a video transcoder, um, we just want the rendering samples to be set to one because we don't really need to render anything. Uh, and then also, if you're curious, the cameras are set to 60 degree field of view, which is 31, roughly 31.2 millimeters. Um, and I found that's a nice ratio so that we don't have a whole bunch of cameras and we don't have... Yeah, everything. Uh, and then, of course, if you want to up the resolution, you can do that here. You can just type in a multiple or change the resolution. Okay. And then, once we have everything where we want it, we just go ahead and hit Render Animation, and it will run through. It takes about a minute. And I'm not even going to pause the recording, because it's just going to run real time. So, yeah, this goes super quick, uh, and that's why I kind of sped up the videos, because I know I don't need every single frame i can go like every every 10 frames or every, every like 30 frames all right almost done and there we go have all that so now i can go open the folder and now you can see that we have 1020 images and so what you can do is now open your uh, photogrammetry software and basically just drag this folder in and just plunk it in there and it'll do its thing and so what I'm gonna do is just show you one that I ran a little earlier uh, so this was just a test I did with the first hundred frames this is before I sped up the video and let this one run but now I can hit a load model and you can see actually was able to pull quite a bit of detail out of this and I'm sure you could get better results by turning up the resolution or uh, whatever uh, and you can just kind of try whatever so yeah the the link to the blender file will be in the description and you guys can download it and try it for yourself